looks like there's a liquor jug and uh, some liquor bottles, beer bottles on top of it. Huh, this jug might be intact. All right, the moment of truth, here we go. It's intact. I'm in Christine, North Dakota, on a lot where the city hotel once stood. The hotel was here in 1885 and stood until 1919 when the owner was charged with arson. He burned the place down. Well, today we're gonna excavate the backgrounds in search of artifacts from the old days. We'll take a walk around and see how it goes. This is the back of where the hotel once stood. It's a lot of ground I covered. And back there on the corners, you'll see some yellow markers sticking out. We probed out a huge pit. Oh yeah, this is loaded. You'll see I kicked some marks in the ground. This is one of the biggest pits I've ever probed out. It's eight feet long, three and a half feet wide, at least seven feet deep. There's a ton of glass down there. Could have been a four stall outhouse. So we'll get this thing opened up. You'll notice a color change in the soil, an indicator we're definitely in an outhouse pit. We may have found some woodline signs as well. And within them, this pit is loaded. Here's a little sample size medicine bottle, tooled top. Oh wow, that's a threaded top liquor flask. It's a pewter cap, I believe, and a ground lip. Look at that, circa 1905. We have our first drugstore bottle here, banner style. Looks like it still has some medicine in there. You can see that kind of red amber color. Bob top, malt extract made by the Streeter Bottle and Glass Company, Streeter, Illinois, I believe. And another threaded top liquor flask. Looks like a pewter cap and a ground lip. Again, circa 1905, this is an awesome layer. Some kind of strap side liquor flask. Might be a uh, Union Oval. We'll have to check it out. That's a court though. That's wild. <sighs> Broken beer bottle. Uh, William Franson and Son, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Another uh, banner style. That was the uh, type of drugstore bottle this glass company had. This one has medicine in it as well. Uh, we're in it. It's like some 
the Hotel China. Oh, this stuff is so muddy. J&G Meek in Hanley, England. This is uh, typical ho hotel wear, nothing fancy. Got the job done though. This here looks like it could be a blue cut glass piece. Something's going on with it. Wow. That might be cut glass, a candy dish lid of some sort. That is wild. Looks like it has some blue paint on it or something. It's like a early machine made uh, preserve bottle. They sell capers, pickles, any kind of preserved goods. Uh, big old tool top beer bottle. Made by the American Bottle Company. a tool top eagle flask this is definitely from the hotel era circa 1905 if you notice all these specks here some are floating in the water these are undigested seeds from the outhouse and we've got a couple more bottles here this pit is absolutely loaded Let's see. oh wow okay tool top beer no embossing on this one. Tool crown top. Another liquor flask. <sighs> Looks like a possible Olympia style flask. The water's washing the stuff off. Real nice. It's a, an 1898 patent Olympia style flask. Use these up to up to about 1910. And another one of these banner prescription style bottles. I'm guessing these came from a local druggist. And another. This one's just sticking out here. Liquor flask, strap sided. All right, a blob top beer. It's a tool top turn mold. We're getting some really good age to this thing. A bunch of lime layers down here. See that lighter color? That was thrown over the pit to neutralize the smell way back when. Looks like a different style prescription bottle, circa 1905. So a turn mold <laughs> applied top crown beer. That's wild. I don't know if I've ever dug one with that uh, combination of manufacturing techniques. A doll leg. Jeweled crown top beer, no embossing. Well, as I was digging this level down, something floated up. Looks like a another prescription bottle, no embossing on it. Tool top. There's a couple of pieces here, kind of wedged together. I was kind of carefully uh, 
see what I can do. Another banner. Yeah, these have got to be from the local drugstore. Broken extract bottle. Wow, that's like a 20 gallon crock lid. That's definitely the biggest crock lid I've ever dug. That's wild. All right, another jeweled crown top beer. Streeter Bottle and Glass Company. Oh, I can feel all the bottles down here. A ton of stuff. Another part to that lid. Oh wow, what's this? Bestinson and Company, Buffalo, New York. That's a shoe polish bottle. And this one's been sticking out of the side here. Another uh, liquor flask, Eagle style. Embossed tooled crown top beer. Well, looks like we found the rest of the crock lid. I'm still amazed. Yeah, this must have been a 20 gallon. And let's get some color underneath here and some more bottles. This was a very ornate piece, some kind of a cup, I suppose. Medicine bottle. Oh yeah, Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Swamp Root Kidney Liver and Bladder Cure, Binghamton, New York. Tooled top, circa 1900. Wow, look at all this stuff. Could it be our first shoe fly flask? Really clean glass. Prescription bottle, no embossing, no glass company marks on this one. Oh, this pit, said it before, say it again, it's just absolutely loaded. Uh, JoJo style liquor flask. I'm convinced there was a saloon being run out of this hotel. You need to start being embossed. Another banner style. Huh. Little, uh, I think it's called a splits bottle. With some kind of uh, possible laxative water of some sort as a tooled top. Uh, solid use layer. Looks like uh, catalog pages that was used as makeshift toilet paper back in the day. Bunch of stuff underneath it. Little prescription bottle, no embossing. Looks like, uh, here's one. More doll parts. Finding a surprising amount of doll parts in this thing.
Wow, look at all these. Uh, tool top prescription bottle. And another. No embossing. They're just stacked in here. It's insane. Look at that. Looks like an Olympia style flask. These are uh, patented 1898. Wow, I'm amazed at how much stuff is in this. <laughs> this one just sticking out of the side here. Another one of these banner styles. Wish we'd get something with some embossing. Classic uh, tool top, Mrs. Stewart's Bluing. I find these all across the Midwest. Wash this off a bit. That's really cool. Look at that design, that color. It's almost like a grape. Uh, looks like a tool top medicine. Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria. This was a castor oil medicine. kinds of stuff in here. Another banner style drugstore bottle. It's like a Philadelphia Oval. The stuff's getting earlier. This is, I'd say pre-1900. like a three-piece mold liquor bottle. <sighs> Another shoe fly bottle. These are never embossed around this part of the country. Well, it looks like there's a liquor jug and uh, some liquor bottles, beer bottles on top of it. Let's see here. Everything's kind of intertwined. There's a lot of stuff in here. Huh, this jug might be intact. All right, we have here a unembossed liquor flask tool top. Moment of truth, here we go. It's intact. It uh, doesn't have any stamping on the bottom. Or it's the, uh, I think it's the Red Wing Stoneware Company. Red Wing, Minnesota, it's a zinc glaze.
another banner. Maybe we'll get an embossed one before the day's out. All right, this is getting to be some good age. Wow, this is this a tool top or an applied top? This could be a uh, something. That's a tool top, tool blob top beer. Would have been sealed with a cork. Now there's a large ironstone piece here and some interesting kind of milk glass piece sort of falling out. Now, I don't know what this thing is. It looks like a lid to some kind of dish. Maybe a steamboat or some kind of boat. If anyone knows what it is, drop a comment. And, uh, oh, here we go. Can't have a hotel pit without some soap dishes. Uh, some kind of China company, but uh, that's too far deteriorated to tell. These are always common in hotels, though. They had bathhouses. Looks like a maybe salad dressing or some kind of condiment container. Here we got a clue. There's embossing on bottom. So muddy down here. Pittsburgh. Oh, H.J. Heinz Company, Pittsburgh. That's the same Heinz Company today that sells condiments, mainly ketchup. I think this is an eagle style flask, circa 1905. That could be a little uh, glue bottle of some sort, tooled top. Top prescription drugstore bottle. <sighs> so it could be another Eagle style flask, circa 1905. And a beer, I'm guessing some kind of beer. A tool top beer, uh, SBG Company, Streeter Bottle and Glass Company, Streeter, Illinois, tooled crown top. Now this big ironstone piece. I'd have to dig around it a bit. It's like a maybe a butter churn, I'm not entirely sure. Definitely an ironstone piece though, zinc glazed. piece mold liquor bottle tool top huh. maybe a bitters oh blown out corners would have had a paper label on it you can see the spot on the front for a paper label See, another liquor flask. Definitely a saloon being run out of the place. Well into a use layer. You can see that brown color. There's a, I think four pieces we've got, maybe five. I just found another one. Another unembossed banner. like a bitters bottle. Would have had a paper label on it. A 
liquor flask, tool top. There we go, another soap dish. Maybe this one has some legible writing. Warranted KT and K Granite. That's the uh, Knowles Taylor and Knowles Pottery Company. It's amazing these things broke because they are sturdy. Look how thick that ironstone is. Tool top liquor flask. I took a chunk of all well, human waste out of the way. It, saw this bottle, it's uh, another unembossed prescription drugstore bottle, circa 1905. Uh, tool top liquor flask. Oh wow. And an Olympia style flask. You might be able to see it's a design patented on the bottom. I think that triangles the Illinois Glass Company. I think a bunch of companies made these though. Well, another banner. And you'll see this clay layer. Uh, when I probed this out, I thought the pit had ended, but there should be some stuff underneath it. I think it's just a cap they put on. Banner. like an earthenware doorknob. These were popular on exterior doors. Could have actually been the doorknob of the outhouse. Huh. Another liquor flask. This one actually has the glass stopper still in it. It's tooled top. And another with a glass stopper. Uh, shoe fly flask, no embossing. Another liquor flask, tooled top. Another. Huh, that's an oldie. Uh, turn mold beer, blob top beer. Rex Oval style drugstore bottle. Oh, look at all the bubbles in that one. It's a liquor flask tool top. And another uh, Rex Oval style drugstore bottle, circa 1905. More liquor flasks. What's interesting about this is that during this time, North Dakota was actually under statewide prohibition and uh, the sale of alcohol was illegal. It's a tooled top shoe fly bottle. 
and well anyway folks would evade the laws by uh, selling admission into the saloon and then giving the alcohol away so technically no laws were being broken and that was definitely happening a lot here another tool top liquor flask this one's just sticking out and some kind of prescription bottle another banner all right now there's some cloth piece here uh, it looks like it could be a shirt you've got to be careful with this because uh it'll tear easy might even find some stuff while trying to dig this out oh yeah there we go another liquor bottle you can see it has like a blank seal on it it probably would have had a sticker on the shoulder there oh yeah i see some bottles under it yeah this is just uh extremely deteriorated but there's some cloth the water table preserved it all those years it was likely part to a shirt i think you can see a collar on it right there a oh, little uh, perfume bottle thick glass another three-piece mold liquor bottle tooled top Another prescription drugstore bottle. Here it is. This is what we came for. Looks like a Hutchinson soda bottle. I see Fargo, North Dakota on it. We're not sure what bottling works it's from yet. We gotta clear another piece out first, then we'll get to it. Looks like a English made applied crown top ale bottle. And here we go. Looks like it's a. Uh, I think it might be intact. There we go. Fargo Bottling Works, Fargo, North Dakota. This is a Hutchinson style bottle. These were used prior to the pry off caps. They stopped using these around World War I. Some bottling works did a bit sooner. like possibly a oh yeah dr sbh and company i find a lot of these around the midwest i believe this uh, held, a, held a product called peruna it was a patent medicine and a prescription drugstore bottle no embossing on it we've got another one Seems when I find one, there's always another. Oh, a couple more pieces around it, but try to just carefully pull this out. All right, another Hutchinson soda bottle from the American Bottling Association of Fargo, North Dakota. Wow, circa 1905. Looks to be in great shape. bottle and another three-piece mold tooled top piece and a, a little strap sided liquor flask oh well wow. warranted okay and it's a uh, kind of aqua color these are usually clear so that's a bit unusual we may be nearing bottom but there's still a solid use layer I haven't found it yet I did probe down uh, here's a Davis. It's a vegetable painkiller, a patent medicine. There's all kinds of stuff sticking out of the sides here. Looks like a 
an embossed prescription bottle tool top. I got uh, a couple, couple bottles in the wall here. Another uh, banner style prescription bottle. Top liquor flask. Oh. Another unembossed prescription drugstore bottle. And, uh, some sticking out here. Okay, a shoe fly flask. This one floated up. Trying to dig down to find bottom. Another uh, unembossed prescription drugstore bottle. We found bottom. I'm working my way across now. Looks like five more pieces here. Uh, looks like another blob top beer bottle. Uh, tooled top, turn mold. this thing je cobalt's caustic balsam and a uh, the Lawrence Williams company sole proprietors uh, Canada huh USA and Canada never seen one of these before it's got a lot of writing you can see on the sides it's embossed the same on both sides like a little uh, tooled top prescription drugstore bottle, no embossing. Let's see, oh, there's this one sticking out of the wall. Got another uh, no embossing circa 1905. Oh wow, a big doll leg. It's like some kind of porcelain. Another uh, turn mold beer. Oh no, SB and G Company. This must have been one of the uh, earlier bottles they made. That's a tool top blob sealed with a cork. Cleaning out the northeast corner. I see a few pieces sticking out. Let's see. Uh, tool top drugstore bottle. And another. Uh, unbreakable comb. <laughs> the seen as fitter days for sure. Nearing completion. Got the last bit of the use layer here. Got some kind of panel bottle. Uh, some kind of medicine. It's, uh, it's no embossing on it though. Unembossed uh, drugstore bottle. And this bottom. Broken uh, turn mold beer, no embossing. That oh, looks like a chilled top bitters bottle. It's clear, it's usually amber. That's cool. I've nearly finished the pit. This thing's about six feet deep. Uh, two liquor flasks. 
Let's see. Another Olympia style, 1898 patent. And a ground lip, unembossed piece. This is the last of the use layer. There's a ton of broken glass down here, broken crockery. That, that is what I think it is. This is significant. So this is a poker chip. Shows they were uh, gambling at the place. I guess it was a saloon and possibly a gambling house. Wild. I think this pit's done. Here's the hull. This was something else. 105 bottles. Those are all prescription drug stores. A couple condiment containers, shoe polish, perfume, some bitters, medicines, a ton of liquor flasks. Got a liquor jug there. Some beer bottles. Candy dish lid. And my two favorites, the sodas. So this was a very productive day. We'll get this filled in and hit the road. <laughs>